Up next we have a man. Well, he's more than a man. He's sort of small like a boy. <laughs> he's a full-grown adult. He's so mature that he produces a little show called The Fongham here every week. He's amazing, so thanks in advance, and put your hands together for the very funny, your last performer of the night, so get all the energy you have, yeah. and clap for Timmy Ryan! Yeah. Calm down, guys. Take a breath. This is what we refer to as the calm before the storm. All right, you guys ready for Hurricane Timmy? Yeah! Let's do this, all you hoblins, goblins, ghosts, and ghouls, phantom banshees, witch and ogres. Hello, hola, guten tag, donka shame, mahalo, bitches. Let me introduce myself. My name is Timmy Bryant, and I'm a single white alcoholic hoarding male who lives in a downtown loft with no no offspring. Ah. I'm an engineer, I'm an artist, I'm a drummer and a guitarist, and I couldn't be more excited. I'm living someone else's dream, and I couldn't be more excited. You guys having a good time? You know what made it awkward though? We walked here. So, <laughs> but you guys do seem like a right bunch. Thanks for coming out on a Monday. I like that group in the back, even though you guys are sitting down. I want to talk to you directly. You guys seem rowdy as hell. Let me ask you. You guys ever go to Jalapenos with all your friends and you get, let's say, uh, a Negro Modelo, two margaritas, a Dos Equis, a shot of Jameson, you go outside, smoke a cigarette, come back in, get a tire around a fireball for all your friends, a Jack and Coke, rum and Coke, powder Coke, a Metro and Red, you go outside, smoke a cigarette, throw up, lose your friends, wake up in someone else's bed, and you say, damn, was that Jameson for like eight bucks? <laughs> At least I remember that, though. At least I remember that, because the thing is, I black out a lot. And you know the phrase, your life flashes before you when you die? I can't wait for that to happen just to see all the stuff I can't remember because I black out. Alright? Alright? Oh shit, these are my underwear. How to put these on? This is Cause life's all about the journey, not the destination. And I think that's a great new slogan for Malaysian Airlines. So, uh, 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 don't give me that too soon bullshit. That joke is right on schedule. Right. I'm like some flights from Malaysian Airlines. So, so. I do like to drink a lot, and uh, every once in a while I get a notepad, and you take some, take down some drunk thoughts, you know, just contemplations you have that are uh, alcoholic-induced. Like, I think the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek, when he gets drunk, he likes to fuck with people. And he goes, right in your refrigerator. What are you doing in my house? Correct. Because <laughs> it's in the form of a question. Other drunk, other drunk thought, like a lot of people, uh, Smoke these electronic cigarettes now, but I smoke real cigarettes. Is that an acoustic cigarette? <laughs> Do you think that when Michael J. Fox takes a piss halfway through, he's just beaten off? <laughs> right. It stays in the drunk thought category. It doesn't leave the drunk thought category. Like if you opened up a, an ice cream shop, you'd call it just shakes. Uh, it's a groaner. I know, I know, it's a groaner. See, uh, I heard the other. Uh, stupid thing was said to me when I was drunk the other day, and this guy says, I think that Ben Affleck would make a great Batman. I was like, sir, your opinion is fucked up. You're a horrible person. I think you should die in a fire. And he goes, well, I think we can skip the sobriety test and go straight to the breathalyzer. Fuck. I'll get out of the car. So for those of you that don't know, Ben Affleck is supposed to be the new Batman. Ben Affleck! Ben Affleck! Woo! He played a pedophile in Mallrats. He played a pedophile in Mallrats, and now he's playing Batman? What kind of message does that send to people? That's like telling a mentally disabled child of an oil tycoon in Texas that you too can be president in the year 2000 for two terms. Yeah, you guys are good. Uh, see, I like talking about drinking because I miss it. I don't drink, not for health reasons or being more responsible. No, I love drinking. I love drinking so much that I'm court ordered not to. That's the truth. I've taken seven field sobriety tests in my lifetime, and I've passed five! It's good, it's good. Uh, come on in, it's gonna be a great old time. We're telling jokes about my drinking problems. Come on in, it's gonna be a good time. So, you know you've taken a few field sobriety tests, you can tell the officer was doing it wrong. That's the truth. My lawyer read that back to me. But you told him he was doing it wrong. He was doing it wrong. Oh yeah, he was. Alright, So I've been I've been I've been sober for about 11 months and I've been single for about eight, unrelated. And uh, dating in this town in a college.
college down is just fucking weird with the liberal I didn't know what a liberal arts college was until you start talking to 22 year old girls. I'm in the gems, unicorns, and astrology. <laughs> Fuck. The only thing I know about astrology is the only thing I know about astrology is that Gemini is my favorite American gladiator. So I mean I got a fist in the air, he knows what I'm talking about, you're over 30. So uh, David Crabble, so you didn't even pick up your mess. Uh, I'm the last one up here. It's alright, man. You can give me a ride home. Actually, you walk, so that's fine. So, uh, see, the thing about dating in this town is just, I want to talk to a girl so badly that has something interesting to say, but it's just bullshit. It's all bullshit. Like, a pickup line. What are you supposed to do to a pickup line where a girl that knows some obligatory random major? Oh, what's your major? Marine biology? That's fucked up. <laughs> What's your, what's your major? What's your, oh, oh, chem, chemistry? Oh, did you know that my nickname is the Helia Case Enzyme? Did you know that? Because I exist solely to unzip those genes. <laughs> Niche pickup line. Niche pickup line. <sighs> See, I, every time, every once in a while, I'll pick up a girl from the bar and I'll take her back home and uh, we start getting hot and heavy, you know, do the horizontal mambo, freak between the sheets, give her back massage with my belly, you know, that kind of thing, and I put a condom on. And I put a condom on because I'm a fucking gentleman like that, right? And I'll put, it, I'll put it on and I'll give him my good old John Legend. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm giving you all of me, fire all of you. All your colors and all your riches, all your perfect imperfections. I'm giving you all of me. This condom sucks! Fuck this thing! Take it off, right? Throw it off to the side. Just go back El Natural just like our parents used to know, right? <laughs> Going at it, going at it. What's that smell? It landed on the baseboard heater! Uh, but luckily I'm a kinky motherfucker and I had a spatula close by. Like, spah! Right off like a fried egg. Like those little things. See, that's the thing about dating is I hate condoms. God, I hate condoms. Like, they just fit weird with that little fucking air bubble at the end. What I do is poke a hole in it so it fits better. You know what I'm talking about? And it takes a few times, you gotta do it. It takes a few times of learning to take, you know, do it before you put it on. And so, so, Oh, you got a condom? Trust me, man. You'll you'll thank me later. Trust me. <laughs> All right. Woo! Woo! Man, look at it. It is fucking hot up here. You guys, I saw some guys like going like this in the back, going over the clamp. They're trying to tell me to get off the stage because that guy over there. <sighs> Just give me the light. So, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming out to the Green Crawl. This has been a fantastic. One last big round for Timmy Riney.